Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex, and today we're looking at a paper trending on X, published on July 24th, 2025, so just two days ago. This paper introduces a system called ASI Arch, which autonomously ran over 20,000 GPU hours of experiments to discover 106 new state-of-the-art linear attention architectures. The paper is titled, AlphaGo Moment for Model Architecture Discovery, and it proposes a new scaling law, not for models, but for scientific discovery itself. Essentially, the system allows an AI to conduct its own research to innovate on neural network designs, moving beyond human-defined search spaces. All right, and it's already making waves online. The community is highlighting the bold claim that this system can autonomously conduct its own research, essentially revolutionizing architecture discovery. People are pointing to the concrete results, over 1,700 experiments leading to more than 100 new state-of-the-art designs. There's also discussion around the specific patterns the AI uncovered, like its preference for certain components like gating layers, showing that the system can generate real scientific insights. So to visualize this discovery process, the authors present what they call a scaling law for scientific discovery. This chart shows the cumulative number of novel state-of-the-art architectures found on the vertical axis against the computation time and GPU hours on the horizontal. And the result is a strikingly clear, almost straight line. As the system gets more compute time, it consistently discovers more top-performing linear attention architectures. This suggests that architectural innovation isn't just random. It can be predictably scaled which is a huge departure from human-led research. Building on that idea of scalable innovation, the authors frame their discoveries as a Move 37 moment, referencing AlphaGo's famous unexpected move. This next image shows a conceptual dialogue between the AI system and a human researcher. The AI proposes novel designs, like one that inspires mixing multiple token mixing operations. Token mixing is essentially how a model combines information from different parts of the input. Another design forms a structure similar to a mixture of experts, or MOE, which is a technique where different parts of the model specialize on different tasks, making it more efficient. So to really grasp how the AI explores these design ideas, the authors provide this exploration trajectory tree. It's like a family tree for neural network architectures. It starts with a known model, DeltaNet, as the root, or the ancestor, and then branches out showing every one of the 1,773 new architectures the system created. Each circle is a unique design, and its color shows its performance score, from red for low scores to dark blue for high. You can see how the system evolves, moving toward a huge number of high-performing blue designs. So how does this system actually navigate that massive exploration tree? Well, this diagram lays out the engine behind it all, the ASI ARCH framework. It operates in what's called a closed loop, meaning it's a self-improving cycle with four key parts. It starts with the researcher module, which proposes a new architecture and writes the code. Then, the engineer module rigorously trains and tests that code. Next, the analyst synthesizes all the results, and these new insights feed right back into the system's knowledge base, informing the researcher's next idea. It's this complete, autonomous loop that drives the continuous discovery we saw. All right, so after seeing how that framework operates, this table shows us the payoff. It's a direct head-to-head comparison between human-designed models like Mamba 2 and DeltaNet and a selection of the new AI-discovered architectures. They're tested on language modeling where perplexity, or PPL, measures how well a model predicts text, so a lower score is better. They're also tested on several zero-shot common-sense reasoning benchmarks. And the takeaway is clear. The AI-discovered models, marked by the robot icon, consistently outperform the human baselines, often taking the top spot across the board. So, given that impressive performance, the next question is, how did the AI actually build those winning models? This chart breaks it down by looking at the architectural components, or building blocks, the system used. The red bars show the components in the top performing models, and the blue bars show the components in all the others. We can see the top models heavily favor established ideas like gating mechanisms, which are like smart switches that control information flow. 
The less successful models show what's called a long tail distribution. Essentially, they explored many novel but less effective ideas, which suggests the AI learned to innovate on a solid foundation, not just chase novelty. So, when you put it all together, what we're seeing is a major step forward. The ASI Arch system provides a concrete blueprint for how AI can conduct its own scientific research, breaking free from human limitations. It discovered over a hundred new, high-performing architectures, really demonstrating a path towards self-accelerating AI. That's it for this episode of the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Thanks for listening. <laughs>